um, this Afronita departure from the DWP Academy when I posted it and uh, some reactions I've seen under my post, the reactions I've seen online has been the way people are trying to compare Afronita to endurance and trying to make it look like semen enmity in there. Now listen. I get it because these are creatives and obviously even if even if they are in a team people have their favorites but i think the conversation of comparing afonita and um, endurance is a very senseless thing to do i'm sorry to say very senseless these are individual creatives that even though they were in a team they are unique skills brought each other out i don't know how people downplay the role of a team Afronita is Afronita because there were people with her who were dancing for you to say, oh, this one is actually different. This one is the best. This one is the, you know, Afronita was shining because she had people around her that made her shine. Same for endurance. So instead of comparing them, let them grow in their own way, become who they are going to be and support them individually. You can say Afronita is a great artist without taking a swipe at endurance. You can say the same for endurance without taking a swipe at Afronita. And mind you, these are two different people with two different powers. One thing I've seen with endurance, endurance is great with choreography. And endurance has mastery over facial expression, which makes her dancing very beautiful. Like when you're watching endurance, it can be captivated. Like you can be stuck watching her because of her facial expression. And it's nice. That is her. When you go to, into the same camp, when they're in the same camp, this thing, what's her name? Afronita brought that femininity that the, the group lacked. So one thing that a lot of people don't like about DWP was the fact that even all the girls were trying to be masculine. Like, you don't see a girl, you know, being a girl, dancing like a girl, even though she can dance. And that was Afronita in the group. Afronita was very feminine and could dance. But most of them, even though they are feminine, they were they look more masculine and tried more masculine dressed more masculine same typical example rachel and jara i know and is a bit tomboyish but lisa kwama they were all doing that but afronita was that one person that she's a girl and then it made i think that's what added to that feminine touch to the dance group and because of that there were so many corporate world working with them because of afronita just to get you a lot away because of afronita sky girls they had Afronita as the face because she appealed to more young girls. And you know, our community, we don't really have, we've still not come in terms with this whole tomboy thing and all those kind of things. So even though endurance is good, endurance centric and all, it was Afronita corporate world, corporate world where they're doing more things with because of her feminine thing that she added to it. They've separated. We don't know what is going to come out of endurance, uh, I mean, Afronita after she has left. We don't know if she's going to um dance course camp she's going to start teaching children how to dance we don't know all of that but nonetheless she was shining because she was in a team she's no longer in the team so let's wish her well right now try to compare her to endurance endurance is a great artist i'm telling you like she captivates me when she's dancing you see the way people love the video it's because she was with people so you could see her style shine amongst them that is what being in a group does for an artist so now I don't want that unnecessary comparison. It's so unnecessary. I see a lot of unnecessary. What, what the wrong evil? Then I am. <laughs> but all the same, comment below what you think. What you think is the next phase for?